Hey folks, Joey Kissimmee here again with another super quick video tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how to get Easy Video Player to work with WP Lap Dance. Uh, just like you're seeing right here, it's working right now on my blog and also how to get the little pop-up thing to show up here. Uh, it'll show up here in just a little bit, you'll see. Uh, but these two pieces of software are, are just amazing together. There were two softwares created by two good friends of mine. Uh, oh, there goes the little pop-up there. I'm going to show you how to do that right there. <laughs> but anyways, um, like I was saying, uh, these two pieces of softwares were created by two great friends of mine uh, uh, named Josh Bartlett with Easy Video Player and Devon Brown with WP Lab Dance. <laughs> now, don't ask me why in the hell did he call it or named it WP Lab Dance. I have no idea. Idea, uh, but you could check out his website and, and I, I'm guessing he'll tell you why there but it's the software is just amazing and these two pieces of software has been giving me some great great results so um, a lot of questions I get asked is uh, you know a lot of cool things that my blogs got so this is one of the things that I've been getting asked a lot how to get easy video player to work with it with WP lap dance and also how to get this uh, little pop-up thing here okay so I'm just going to go ahead and go to my uh, easy video player the, in the back office. I'm not going to go and bore you with the uploading all that stuff because if you have it, you should know how to do it already, right? Um, anyways, um, I'm in the back office and I already got one video uploaded. And these are just the basic, uh, uh, you know, little settings that I got or that I like to do for the, for the exit pop-ups. I don't like the videos to be big. I like to, to be just perfect and still be able to see the background from the blog. Um, I've got a 400 width and then a height 250. Um, I've got mine on autoplay, but that all depends on you know on your preferences. Okay, um, right here auto buffer. I've got CloudFront, so I don't need it. But if you don't have CloudFront, then uh, you're gonna want to have this buffered. Um, you know, player controls here again. That's your preferences. I got mine on on hide always because I want them to actually see the whole video. And then right down here. I go to uh, elements okay this is where I actually get the little uh, the little pop-up thing that you saw earlier uh, let me see if it's still there right here this is get instant access um, you're gonna have to do a little bit of coding here but um, I'll show you how to do that uh, really quick on uh, actually in WordPress I actually create this little code back here in WordPress and I'll show you real quick here um, what I like to do is just go ahead and go to post add new then what you're going to want to do is just click on this uh, upload and insert image uh, tab thing there and you can either upload it from your computer from a url or if you have uh, one in your media thing already or in your media file in your wordpress you can also choose that so i'm going to go ahead i already have one in there so uh, i'm going to go ahead and link to the url i'm going to go ahead and insert to post so you can go ahead and insert it there then what I'm going to do is just highlight it, go right here to where it says insert link, and I'm going to go ahead and put the destination URL that I want uh, my visitors to go to, okay? Very simple, guys. Very easy and very simple to do. Then I just go into HTML here, and I highlight the whole thing and copy it. And then you just come here and paste it. And then what you want to do is you actually want to go ahead and figure out what uh, what precise moment you want that uh, specific button or image to appear under that video mine's I got set at 20 seconds but it all depends on, on what your video is uh, for an exit pop-up you don't want the video to be really long um, I like to go ahead and leave my videos under 50 seconds maybe a minute at max and then if I'm gonna do a pop-up or something um, I, I definitely want to do this like a 20 seconds or below because there's an exit pop-up people are, are just getting ready to leave and you know they don't want to stay there forever waiting for the call to action so you want the call to action to come right away you know and, and you want you don't want the video to take forever okay so that's pretty much it right there um, and, and then that's it and then I just go ahead and click on save and it'll give me EVP will actually give me the codes um, that I need to, to to paste in my WP lap band software so I'll go ahead and show you here real quick let me just go ahead and pause this um, so here's the coding the first coding for the video okay you're gonna want to copy and paste that okay and then here's the coding for the for the bottom part for the 
little pop-up thing right here okay so what I do is I just go into here let me just go ahead and move this to trash and go right down here to where WP lap dance is there it goes click on that and right here guys I like to use this one here all right um, I've used this one here but not too much I really like this one here I'll leave this for another tutorial for another day but I, I, I like to use this one so is this tutorial showing you how to do this so I'm gonna go ahead and use that some of the settings that I lay out here um, show in the middle of the screen use lightbox effect uh, this one I leave it to yes okay and right down here 440 to 338 440 with 330 uh, 380 height now that just makes it perfect for this here if your video is a little bit bigger then you're gonna want to to go ahead and uh, you know and, and mess with this just a little bit but if you want to use the exact same settings I got uh, for the box itself the outside box here the outside part you're gonna want it 440 by 380 and then the video let's go back to the video real quick because I don't know if off the top of my head um, you're gonna want it 400 by 250 okay so um, the background color FFF uh, borderline or borderline style to uh, solid the thickness two pixels and then uh, I think this is already set that, that you know uh, factory or whatever you call it uh, so I don't mess with that but anyways it's 140 0 e 0 e um, anyways um, down here, this is where you would paste the coding. Now, I just want to give you a real quick tip here, guys. All right. Now, always do this little coding. Okay. This little thing here, BR, and, and then the other. I don't know what they're called. Okay. Always put that at the beginning. This will ensure that your video gets the correct spacing here. If not, it'll go all the way to the top and it'll look really, really ugly. Okay. In fact, I'll show you right now. It'll look like that. <laughs> okay, that's my boy Devon there, man. He's a, he's a real cool guy. Um, so always put that there to get the right spacing. And then I always like to go ahead and put center. All right, these blocks. All right, copy the video code there. Just paste it right there, and then end it with the center. All right, that's it. That's all I do. So and then right here, I go ahead and paste that little coding. All right, let me go ahead and save it right here again. Sorry for doing this a lot, guys. It's making a video go longer. Um, but right here, this little coding, I paste it right down there. And that's it. And then you just click on save. And then you just go ahead and, uh, and play your video. Let me go ahead and refresh that real quick. Uh, so when people visit your website, <coughs> excuse me, guys. People visit your website, try to exit out. That little video will pop up. And, uh, you know, it'll say what you got to say. And, uh, and then the little thing will pop up down there below. Okay, um, and that's pretty much it. That's how you make a, or you get Easy Video Player to work with WP Lap Dance. It's really not that hard, guys. It's just coded. That's it. It's copy and paste. Easy Video Player does everything for you. I mean, literally, like it does everything for you. You should see the options that this crazy software that my man Josh Bartlett created. I mean, it's just amazing what you could do. And that's just a simple thing. That's one of the simplest things that I, I just did right here. It's really simple. I mean, and, and you could do this also with like YouTube. If you don't want to go all fancy and all that stuff, you know, you could just go ahead and type uh, and copy a, an embedded code from YouTube and paste it here. Uh, but it, it's pretty much it. That's how um, I do my easy video players with WP Lap Dance. And, uh, you know, I hope this was helpful for, uh, for you guys and answered a lot of you guys' questions on how to make EVP work with WLP. And, uh, you know, and that's it for my uh, super quick tutorial today. Hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you thought about it by uh, commenting down there below. And, uh, and that's pretty much it for me. Joey Kissimmee, peace. I love you for free. Out.